Hello friends, today we will discuss the procedure of differential leukocyte count okay, in the laboratory that is the physiology or pathology laboratory how we will do the differential leukocyte count okay. For this first let us see what are the requirements. So first mainly we require three glass slides, clean glass slides preferably new, one spreader. If you do not have a spreader slide you can use another clean glass slide with a smooth surfaces or smooth edges. Then we need a distilled water. Then Lishman stain. So, this Lishman stain mainly consists of uh, uh, thylene, uh, methylene blue stain, eosin and acetone free methyl alcohol. Okay. Then uh, we need a staining rack. If this staining rack is not possible, uh, not present, then uh, we can use uh, either a tray with two glass rods. Okay. Then a microscope. I am uh, in that 100x we are going to use for that we need a oil immersion lens that is cedar wood oil. Then apparatus for finger prick like uh, st uh, sterile lancets and uh, surgical spirit and cotton swabs or gauze pieces. Okay? Now let us start the procedure. Now with full aseptic precautions we have to prick the middle finger or the ring finger with the help of the lancet. So, this is the most critical thing which students find it difficult to prick themselves. Thus, it is a very easy thing if you practice it. Now, with one prick and ideally you should discard the first drop, first one or two drop because it contains the tissue fluids. Okay? Now, then you have to put one drop on each slide uh, near one end, okay? just uh, giving a space of around 1 centimeter at one end. So, minimum you need to make 3 slides because uh, there is a more margin of error here. So, at least you should have 3 or at the most 2 not less than 2 okay? because it is a manual procedure and it may be. Now, how to make a smear with the one more spreader slide just keep that at an angle of 25 to 30 degree and just in front of that drop and take it back. Now, you can see it has spread it, it has spread. You have to see the other edge. Now you can see the second slide. How you have to keep it 25 30 degree, then bring it back and with the one stroke you have to make a smear. Okay. See 25 to 30 degree, just take it back. Then the you have to make the smear with one stroke. This is how you need to make a good smear. Now it should cover nearly 3 fourths to half, 3 4 to half of the uh, smear and allow it to dry for around 30 seconds at least. Okay, allow it to dry. And an ideal smear should be tongue shaped and uh, there should be no gaps in between that. So, this first slide is not a good ideal smear. However, that is why we are making two or three slides. Okay, this is the second slide that is the middle slide is bit ideal. Okay, so this is how you need to make a slides. Now, after making the slides, we have to stain and fix the slide. So, the next procedure will be staining and fixing of the smear. Now, we will use uh, this three slides and we will fix it. So, but before that you need to, if the smear is not dried completely, then you have to dry it by just uh, shaking this, okay. So that uh, if it is not dry, especially in the winter season the moisture and all will affect the visibility of these cells that is the fixation and staining will not be proper. Okay. So, now what is the method for fixing and staining of the smear we will see once the uh, slides are completely dry. Okay. You should make sure that the slides has been fully dried. Now, for staining we require this two important thing Lishman stain and the distilled water. As I already mentioned this Lishman stain is a mixture of methylene blue and eosin in acetone free methyl alcohol. So, what does this methylene blue do? It stains the acidic part of the basic dye cell that is the nuclei which contains the DNA and cytoplasm that is RNA of WBCs and granules of basophils. Eosin that is the acidic dye which stains the basic part of the cell, eosinophilic granules and hemoglobin of the red cells and methylene, uh, sorry, methyl alcohol fixes the smear to this light. Okay? It should be acetone free because acetone causes lysis of the cell. Okay? Now see. Lishman stain, how much we should uh, pour the Lishman stain around 8 to 12 drops, 8 to 12 drops we have to count this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व ओके थर्टीन एनी नंबर ऑफ ड्रॉप्स रफली एट टू ट्वेल्व फोर्टीन वॉट एवर वी हैव टू जस्ट काउंट द नंबर ऑफ ड्रॉप्स ओके फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन ड्रॉप्स सो अगेन द सेम थिंग यू हैव टू जस्ट काउंट द थिंग ओके एंड after putting this lishman stain we have to wait for nearly 2 minutes this is called as fixation time remember what is this fixation time so during this time what happens is the methyl alcohol which is present in the lishman stain will fix the smear will fix the smear will fix the smear will fix the smear okay with the blood smear with the glass slide okay we'll stain the glass slide also will show if the stain is if the smear is not properly made how it looks okay so we have seen the number of drops also and we will wait for 2 minutes so during this time what is this time fixation so in, during this fixation time what i mean again once again the methyl alcohol will fix the blood film to the glass slide okay if this we don't give adequate time of 2 minutes what will happen is the it will wash away so during the procedure we need to wash the excess slide also we'll show that procedure also but right now remember we have to give adequate time and this is the fixing time now after waiting for another 1 to sorry total of 1 to 2 minutes now it's almost 1 to 2 minutes so we will pour distilled water how much we should pour double the number of drops of the lishman stain suppose if we have put the 12 drops then 24 if 13 drops then 26 we have put around 14 to 15 drops so we will put around 28 to 30 drops of almost double the number of so when you pour this you can see there is a formation of greenish scum okay formation of a metallic shiny layer that is on a greenish scum okay as if the as if the oil is mixed with the with the water so this is necessary it indicates that now the stain is mixing with the, with let is stain now the cells are staining okay so when we add this the it will ionize the cells and uh, distilled water the purpose is it will ionize the cells and the stain will enter inside the cells and nucleus and cytoplasm will get stained okay and again we need to wait for 7 to 10 minutes or 8 minutes approximately so this time it is called as staining time earlier was with lishman stain it was fixing time this is staining time fixing time was 2 minutes staining time is approximately 8 times so we need to wait it for that in between we need to blow it blow it directly small some amount of air so that uh, it mixes it or use a pasteur pipette to blow the air so that the distilled water mixes with the lishman stain and the lishman stain now stain say so we will uh, in between this 8 minutes we will be blowing in between we will be blowing with uh, blowing some amount of air so that it mixes properly throughout this eight now, after 8 to 10 minutes we will bring the staining rag near the wash basin and we will wash away the excess of stain okay you can see by with the running tap water but uh, we should take precautions that we should not keep the slide directly under that running uh, tap water so that uh, we should keep our hand in between the water which is flowing over the slide should come through your hand or the fingers okay now see it has been cleaned properly okay and you have to keep it similarly the other two slides also we need to clean it we have to just throw away that excess of stain and with the, uh, we have to bring it near this water stream running water stream in the tap water okay and we have to clean it so make sure it should not come directly so if it you keep it down with the pressure of the water the smear may get washed away okay so be careful while washing this excess of stain so until what time you should uh, wash it until that stain particles has fully been removed and uh, during after washing only this water okay water is coming no st stained color is visible okay if it is still the some stain particles is there you can rewash once again okay so you have to gently you have to wash it in this angle keep this angle in a running stream so this is the procedure of washing the and cleaning the excess of stain after that again we need to keep this slide until the slides get dried up so after drying we will see the next procedure.